Okay, Agatha. We are starting our lesson now. Well, we are waiting for others to join in, but we can be starting. Okay. In our previous lessons or the work that I've uh, given you, we did uh, properties of water. Do you still remember that? Yes. Yes. Can you mention them? Those that you still remember, the properties of water. Yes. Water is? Delicious. How do you know that this is water? Yes. Yes. Agatha, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you give me anything that you still remember about water from the exercise that you have done before? Okay, we have learned that water is colorless. Do you still remember that? Yes. Yes, that it is no color. It is not blue or it is not pink, but it is colorless. And do you still remember any other? Besides being colorless, it's what? Auto. Yes, can you say it again? Water is odorless. Yes, very good. It is odorless. What does that mean? It means that. <laughs> it means that it has got no smell. It means it has got no Okay, Agatha, it means that it has got no smell except if it is dead. No. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Number 3 Water is tasteless. Okay, yes, good. It is tasteless. It is not sour or it is not sweet. And the other one. The other one, it is it is a solvent. It is a solvent. It can make things dissolve, things like sugar or salt. When they are put in water, they can dissolve. And it can also make things wet. Okay, are, are we together? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. And then the last one, it can flow from high to low places. It can flow from high to low places. And where do you think this water goes to, this one that flows? Where does it go to? If it is flowing on the ground, where do you think it goes to? Outside, because they, if the water is flowing, where does it go to? Does it remain there? Mm 
Okay, so where do you think it goes to? Agatha, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Agatha? Hello. Okay, you are big. Okay, I was saying, where do you think this water yes. that flows outside there, where does it go to? Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. When it gets uh, to where there is loose soil, it sinks. When it gets to loose soil, it sinks. But some of it flows to different sources of water. Some of it flows to different sources of water. And this leads us to today's topic. Today we are looking at sources of water. Sources of water. You can write that down. Sources of water. SO for sources. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, S O U R C E S. S O U R C E S. Sources of water. Yes. Can you see every written? Yes. Yes. Sources of water. This is where we get water from. Where we get water from. The water that we use to cook, to wash. The water that is used uh, in the gardens. The water that is used at school. Everywhere. Where does it come from? Okay. We have got two major sources where we get this water from we have got natural sources can you hear me yes yes we have natural sources and these were not made by people they were not made by people did you hear that? Yes. Yes. I, what did I say? I said natural sources were not made by not people. Yes. Not. And then we have got man-made sources. We have man-made sources. And these ones were made by people. These ones were made by people. people. Okay, okay. Are, you, are you still hearing me? Yes. Okay. So can I have um, an example of uh, a, a natural source, those that were not made by people? where we can get water okay we have number one rivers rivers can you write it down Do 
because rivers are very big they cannot be dug by people so it is god who made uh, rivers and one example of a river a big river that we have is zambezi river in zimbabwe and we have got other small rivers everywhere but this one is one of the biggest rivers that we have and we also have got lakes we also have lakes l-a-k-e-s in africa we have got lake malawi lake malawi okay have you written that Okay, and we also have got uh, seas, seas, S E A S, S E A S. We are still on natural sources. Okay. Um, Zimbabwe is a landlocked uh, country. Zimbabwe is a landlocked country, meaning that it is surrounded by other countries. So that's the reason why it doesn't have uh, seas. And we also have got ocean oceans oc oc e a n s mel junior hello mel mel junior how are you Okay, and then we also have got streams, streams under natural sources of water. We are still under natural sources of water. We also have got streams. And Are you done, Agatha? Yes. Okay, and the last one, it's springs. <laughs> Mel Junior, hello. Hello, Mel. Okay, and then we are now moving on to man made sources. Man made sources. Agatha? Yes. Sure. 
Okay, man-made sources, we have got uh, bowls. We also have got dams. Mel, hello. Mel. Okay, and we have tapes. The tapes that we use at home. We also have got tanks. In they uh, keep water in tanks. And if you in town, there are some people who are now putting water in tanks. And uh, we can also have water from swimming pools. Swimming pools. In the rural areas, in the rural areas, they use uh, water from wells. Okay, now we started the lesson with uh, properties of water. We have done that before. We said that water is colorless. It has got no color and that it is odorless. And um, it is also tasteless. I think you still remember odorless means that it has got no smell. It can only smell if it is dirty and it is tasteless, it has got no color, it, um, it is not sour or sweet, and we also said it is a solvent that it can make things dissolve, things like sugar and salt, and it can make things wet, and that it can flow from high place to low place. Uh, to low places, and if it flows on loose soil, it sinks, and some of the water flows to the sources of water that we were discussing about today, that we have got uh, natural sources which are not made by people, and then we have man-made sources, those that were made by people. Sometimes they are also known as artificial sources. Okay, just to, okay, can you write down before we round off the lesson? Can you write down the pages? Both of you, you have got textbook. Can you write down the pages for your homework? Page 94 and 95, page 94 to 95. Number number one to seven. You are doing everything that is there. Number one to seven. Mel, can you hear me? Raise up your hand if you can hear me. Mel? Okay. Have you written down the pages? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Okay.
Sí. No, no.